almost 94 million miles from Earth, a powerful light show on the surface of the sun. The bursts of radiation are the strongest solar flares so far this year, but issues flaring up back on Earth. Shortwave radio blackouts have been reported on five different continents. A NOAA forecaster says the flare today occurred as the sun was over the Middle East, adding to the disruptions. So there's an 11 year solar cycle and right now we're kind of at the peak of one of those cycles of activity. Scientists say the geomagnetic storms are caused by massive flares of plasma from the sun, specifically sunspots. The x-rays that are coming out of those flares are actually striking a layer of our Earth's atmosphere that we bounce radio waves off of. And it's actually deforming that layer and causing a lot of disruptions. Smaller flares happen regularly, but when they get strong enough, they can light up the sky in the form of aurora borealis in select corners of the world. This is actually yeah, so sick. Sometimes outbursts, turning skies pink and green further south than usual, bringing a light show to lucky residents in places like Chicago, Pennsylvania, even as far as Alabama this same time last year. Scientists say the sun reached its solar maximum last year with its largest flare in October. When the Earth gets bombarded by streams of charged particles, the flares can also disrupt cell phone service, GPS, and satellite communications. They can even wipe out power grids. And in space, they can actually put spacecrafts and astronauts at risk, all of it causing a firestorm online. As we just had a powerful X 2.7 solar flare. Nobody's talking about what these solar flares are really doing to your energy. As for that major blackout in Spain and Portugal a few weeks ago that grounded planes and disrupted hospital operations, Spain now launching an investigation. But so far, nothing to indicate solar flares are to blame, despite viral speculation. And at the center of all the activity in the last 24 hours, the sunspot known as AR4087, currently not directed at our planet, but rotating towards it, meaning the Earth might be out of the line of fire, but not for long. Marissa Parra is joining us now. I mean, who knew, right? Could this thing get right. bigger? Like, could this explode more in the days to come? Well, Hallie, let me explain it this way. So this, uh, what we saw just now with AR4087, this was an extremely, and by the way, a, a rarely powerful storm. You can mm. see the categories. This was the most strong type of solar flare. But here's the thing. This was not even Earth directed. So Hallie, this rotation is going to continue so that AR4087 is Earth directed with the next coming day. So even if it's not as strong in the X category, Hallie, it could still have a major impact for us down here on Earth. That's tracking with the next few days, May 16th and 17th. So we'll be here. Bottom line, right? Watch for the potential for more of those comms blackouts. Uh, Marissa yeah. Parra, thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. That does it for this hour. Thank you, as always, for watching. We've got more coverage picking up right now. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.